another important variable which you can detect from the arterial line is the left ventricular contraction here the aortic valve is opening and the ventricle contracts to send the blood down so this systolic upstroke is a sign of contractility in the heart so from the arterial waveform you can measure the contractility if the contractility is low the slope of the curve moved towards the left here you can see the slope is moved towards the left usually it will be like this but it is moved towards the left so the slope of the anacrotic limb represents aortic valve opening and the lv outflow ejection coming to another important concept in arterial waveform whether it is constricted waveform or dilated waveform how can you find out this is the normal arterial waveform and here you can see the blood flow into the arterial system in marked vasodilatation here you can see the lumen is dilated too much here the dicrotic notch is shifted downwards that means your vessel is markedly dilated and here you can see the vessel is constricted but what happens is the your dicrotic notch is stiffed shifted upwards this shows there is increased vascular stiffness and this is peripherally constricted waveform another way to put it you can say low svr is vasodilated and high svr is vaso constricted here there is low svr your dicrotic notch is pushed down and there is steep downstroke which is vasodilated low svr is vasodilatation and in case of high svr your dicrotic notch is pushed up and this is a vaso constricted stress coming to over damping and under damping normally when you do a square wave test you have one to two oscillation this is the optimal damped system here you have one to two oscillation after you do a square wave test coming to under damping system here when you do a square wave test you will have more than two oscillation and what are the various things which happens with under damping here this is a normal waveform this is the under damped waveform here your systolic blood pressure is overestimated your diastolic pressure when compared to this this is the diastolic here diastolic pressure is underestimated because systolic pressure is high and your diastolic pressure is high your pulse pressure is also overestimated some of the mean arterial pressure remains the same that is under damping coming to over damping here when you do the square wave test there is not much acceleration it is less than 1.5 acceleration and when compared to the normal trace your systolic blood pressure is low and your diastolic blood pressure is high so it underestimates the systolic blood pressure overestimates the diastolic blood pressure which underestimates your pulse pressure mean arterial pressure is however accurate and this under damping and over damping you can come with dicrotic notch in over damping there is absent dicrotic notch here you can see no dicrotic notch and in under damping you can see a deep dicrotic notch so with the dicrotic notch you can say whether it is under damped or over damped 